What's up everybody? So today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna install a new exhaust system on the Nisma 370Z. So here I have the AAM Competition Resonated Short Tail Exhaust. This is basically a muffler delete. We got the five inch polished Nismo spec tips, obviously the resonated short tails, all of the hardware and a flange. And just to answer the question I know I'm gonna get, why am I not going with a full catback exhaust? Honestly, if you have a Nismo 370Z, you do not need a catback exhaust. Because if we look underneath the car, it's actually already got a full dual exhaust system. Let's get around so we can see the actual mid pipe and the down pipes of the car. But if we look under here, that is the stock cat on each side. And then it comes along on each side, goes to an H pipe, and then all the way back to dual. So already in the stock configuration, the Nismo has a true dual exhaust system. The H pipe mid pipe is perfectly sufficient. This basically is gonna replace the stock muffler, opening it up, giving it more flow and better sound. The stock Nismo exhaust is already pretty good and AAM does have a really good mid pipe you can buy. So if you do have the normal 370Z, you will have a Y pipe. So your dual exhaust will go to single and then back to dual. Basically an axle back is all you really need to open it up and make it sound awesome. And before we begin, huge thumbs up to AAM Competition. Definitely check out the link to their website in the description below. They have so many parts for all the Nissan Z cars, the GTR, the G cars from Infiniti. So definitely check them out. Great pricing, great shipping. This came in two days, so that was pretty impressive. And I did have the normal short tails on my Red 370Z. That sound comparison will come soon. Those were a bit too loud for me, so I think these ones will be pretty awesome. So let's begin. First on the list, 14 millimeter socket, and we're gonna remove the four flange bolts. It's hard to say it's And next up, we're going to take a 12 millimeter socket and remove that bolt holding that hanger up. And with that hanger out, now what you're going to want to have is a set of jack stands or an extra hand, the same 12 millimeter, and then an extension is now we're gonna remove the hangers to actually hold the whole system up. So you can see these three bolts right up there. We're gonna remove them on each side. And with the jack stands in place, basically once I get those bolts off, the exhaust is gonna fall down a little bit. Those are just there to catch it. So that is the easy part I would say. Now the hard part is actually what we now have to do. So I'm gonna move these jacks out of the way and use my body basically to hold this thing up as I try to wiggle it off. And the little bit of the, the challenge portion of this is I have to slide it off of those bolts as you can see. So I gotta slide it backwards about an inch, but I don't really have that much room between the bumper and the muffler. All right, that was a lot easier than when I did it on the other 370, although this is an awkward spot. Exhaust is still a little warm, so don't do this as soon as you shut off your car. All right, that wasn't as bad as last time. The standard Z, when I did this on the other car, that was a lot harder. All right, so now we're just gonna use a little bit of WD-40 in these uh, rubber hangers, just pop them off real quick. So all the removal is now complete, time for the install, so now we'll just take a quick look at everything side by side. So the stock one, I think it's in the 30 pound range, we save about 20 pounds going to the short tails. So I've already placed the hangers in the same location that they were coming off the stock one. Of course we got everything. These tips look massive, but they're actually the same size, and you can get these not only polished, but you can actually get them in the titanium blue. And these two pieces here are actually spacers. You can stack them or use one on each side. They're gonna go right there. And on my Red Z, I ended up using both of them on the passenger side. That made them perfectly even. So first up, I'm gonna take this one and go ahead and install it onto the new exhaust. And then I'm gonna take the three bolts that came out of the flange, put them in there, loosely thread them as I stick this onto the mid pipe. And then of course, we're gonna remove these stock little gaskets. Take the stock ones off of each side and then use the new ones. Now while we're under here, it's actually kind of interesting to look at the Nismo because this is a lot different than the standard Z. Like this right there, performance damper, and then this brace right along there. So there's a lot of new suspension stuff under here. 
And then some reviews of these exhausts actually recommended removing this whole heat shield. I may or may not end up doing that, but that is something that you might want to remove. It might rattle a little bit, so I will let you know in the description below if I end up removing that. And with that hanger nice and tight up there, I'm now gonna go ahead and bolt these ones. The kit does come with new hardware, but I'm just gonna reuse the same nuts and bolts, really just the bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and start tightening this side. And then both of these spacers, I'm gonna line them up so they're equal, and they are both actually gonna go on this side, and most likely that will be nice and level for both sides. So they're gonna go like that, and then the bolts are gonna go up through here. So next up, we're gonna take the new tip. Very big, looking at <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, it's got these slots in here, obviously, so that'll make it a little bit easier. And then once they're both on, I can adjust them a little bit, you know, left and right, because they do have a slant to them. You obviously want them top, and then I don't want them too far, too far in. And this is a 10 millimeter bolt that we're tightening up. All right, it's starting to get a little bit darker outside, but that side is all complete. Now we're just gonna do the exact same to the other side. All right, so it's getting dark out and starting to rain, but I'm now complete. I've pulled this tip out a little bit farther and I'll end up readjusting that to pull it out. But let's go ahead and start it up. Sounding pretty good idling, not too crazy loud as of right now. But like I said, I'll go ahead and just readjust them a little bit and then tomorrow morning when it's light out, we'll continue. So it is now the next morning. We'll go ahead and get a quick cold start and then this evening I'll do the final fine tuning of the system. So it is now later the next day. It's actually 4th of July weekend, so it's been kind of hectic so far. So we are now completely done with the installation of the AAM resonated short tail exhaust. Overall, as you saw, it's pretty straightforward. Really had no issues during the entire installation. The overall fitment is pretty good. This side still hangs a little bit higher than this side. This is a little bit lower. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit more spacers to this side. So the two spacers you saw are on this side currently. It does need a little bit more to hang perfectly. I think both tips are sticking out about the same amount, just about an inch. So overall, it looks pretty good. The sound is really good so far. I've been driving around for the day, basically. I put about 40 miles on the car, and it's really, really good. I'll be doing a full review of it, of course, going into more detail, comparing these to the non-resonated ones, but I'm really happy with it, so I give this kit maybe a 95% out of 100 of good quality -ness. Overall installation really well, maybe one more spacer would be nice if the kit came with. And then the hardware you really don't need, I just reused the stock hardware and it works perfectly fine. Fitment is really good, there's a few more little adjustments I can do just to get them perfect. And like I mentioned earlier, with the Nismo I don't need to spend the money on a catback exhaust. And if you do have the normal Z, you can get the AAM mid pipe, which will make this a true dual one, all the way up to the cats. But basically this now has a true dual exhaust, no more restrictive muffler really good looking five inch tips that are the same size as the Nismo tips and looks good and sounds really awesome. So that is the installation of the AAM resonated short tails on the Nismo 370Z. Definitely a really good kit. I'm really happy with it so far. Can't wait for some more driving with it. That's all I want to do right now is just keep driving the car. Huge shout out once again to AAM Competition. I'll have the link to everything in the description below. Definitely check them out. They have amazing parts for all the Z cars, the G cars, and the GTR. So great products, great pricing, really fast shipping. This came in two days and great customer service as well. So definitely check them out. So that sums up the installation video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sound clips are coming very shortly. That will be a lot of fun to check out all the differences between this car and my previous Z. So some good videos to come really shortly. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all next video.